Hello and welcome to the May edition of Port Talk. With the coronavirus pandemic continuing to develop, the port market is currently facing unprecedented circumstances. In this video, we look at how the coronavirus pandemic may influence the global port market in the coming months. Chinese import demand will remain a pivotal factor in the global port market. The USDA recently revised down its port production forecast for China, as the nation is still struggling to recover from African swine fever. Their own battle with the coronavirus has reportedly disrupted herd rebuilding plans. As such, the Chinese protein deficit will likely be larger than initially expected, which should support import demand. The USDA expects Chinese import demand to be up in the region of 60% in 2020 compared to the previous year. However, while this is beneficial to port markets here and in Europe, there still will be challenges. Production in both Brazil and the US has been expanding to fulfil Chinese demand. However, with the food service sector in both these nations all but closed, this results in an oversupply, particularly of certain cuts, that puts significant pressure on prices. This is only made worse by the closure of some important US pork processing facilities. On the 3rd of April, Chicago lean hog futures fell to their lowest point since October 2002. Given the nature of pork production, it will take some time to slow the production growth. All this means is that there will be increasing competition to supply pork to China, particularly as some logistical constraints like container availability remain problematic. With this in mind, prices achievable on the Chinese market may not be as high as previously expected. Despite also facing the loss of food service demand, pork prices across Europe have remained at an elevated level. Markets here have been somewhat sheltered away from the downturn in domestic demand, as they have been diverting product away from the domestic market towards China. Exports to China increased dramatically in 2019, even though production actually declined. The latest report from DERA suggests that EU pig prices could even rise again in the second half of 2020, supported by the continued demand from the Chinese market, and remained elevated at one. Of course, these are particularly uncertain times, and there are many variable factors that could derail this relatively optimistic outlook for the pig sector. As we become more informed and the full effects of COVID-19 become evident, these expectations will likely change. This scenario assumes that key economies, including China, do not experience a second wave of the virus that prolongs economic shutdown. If that were to happen, the outlook would be more challenging. It also remains to be seen exactly how much competition from US and Brazilian pig meat could pull down prices. The potential for further ASF spread in Europe remains an ongoing threat as well. To keep up to date with the latest analysis on how coronavirus is impacting the market, please visit the pork section of the AHDB website or subscribe to our weekly newsletter. For more general information on how COVID-19 is affecting the agricultural sector, please visit our coronavirus hub.